So what we're going to do today is create a template. And many of you will find this incredibly time saving. Um, and you may want to make a few of them. Uh, I'm going to kind of take it pretty far today so you can kind of get an idea just of what you can do. And you can kind of create one of your liking. So first and foremost, I'm going to start with um, a click track. So I'm going to, basically I'm going to set up a session um, and I'm going to make a stereo master fader and I'm going to, and by the way, I'm wasting time here because I'm going to make a stereo aux track. I'm going to press the plus sign and I'm going to make five stereo instrument tracks. All right, the aux I'm going to call reverb. And instrument one I'm going to call contact. I'm going to look at the mix window. I'm going to move my master fader over to where I want it, my reverb over to where I want it. I'm going to set up this reverb. So I'm going to set bus one to reverb. Uh, let me show you this, by the way, bus three, four. If you have right click enabled, you can rename your buses. Um, but I'm going to go ahead because I've already made one for reverb. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm going to insert a reverb. Go ahead and make it the D verb. I am going to uh, insert contact on my stereo track. Go back over here, and if you remember, I'm going to go ahead. So this is MIDI channel one, and the host track defaults to output number one stereo. And I'm going to go ahead and make this, prepare this to be MIDI channel two. And plug in contact stereo two for the output, MIDI channel three, output three. Channel four, output four, and MIDI channel five, output five. Now you could take this as far as you can go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and name these contact out two. I'm going to highlight these, save myself a little bit of time. Four, and out five. Now this is just kind of more of a reminder because I have no, I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't made any music. Um, these may become sample names. They may become instrument names. Um, but basically, I just want to have something ready to go. And I'm going to go a step further, just to show you what you can do. I'm going to set send this bus. Um, over to the aux, to the reverb. Only thing keeping me from hearing any reverb is raising this floating fader and of course having some sound on this track. Um, so for the heck of it, I'm going to also add, actually I'm going to keep this mono, I think it changes it to stereo anyways, and I'm going to insert and call this battery. And I'm going to insert battery. And I'm going to take it even a step further. And I'm going to insert the 808 tuned kit. Mm. Probably would never use it, but let's go with this. All right. So. What I'm doing is creating a template. And what a template's going to allow me to do is when I want to start a session, if I know that it's going to be a sample based session or I want to use contact with discrete outputs, I'm going to open up this template. Um, but in order to do that, I need to save it. So I'm going to go save as template. Now, you can add a category. So add a category, name it 
for yourself. I am going to put this in Kaufman, and I'm going to call this sample sampling, um, so that when I want to open a sampling session, I'm going to go here. Hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and quit this session. Don't need to save it. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you that when I start a new session, I'm not going to create a blank session. I'm going to create it from template. You have your different um, categories. You go, go into Kaufman. I'm going to choose sampling. Hit open. I'm going to name this sampling test template. Bam. Ready to go. All my outputs are routed. I even have my reverb sitting on an aux. I have my battery with my favorite drum kit. It's ready to go. Um, thanks and see you later.